Hi, and welcome to the fifth section of the course, Finalizing the App. In this section, we'll learn about Android styles and Android web views, and we'll see how to share content to other Android apps with intents. And we'll also cover unit testing. We'll see how to use Mokito and how to test with JUnit. And this is the first video of this section, Settings Activity. And in this video, we'll create an activity with a transparent background, and we'll use styles to achieve this. And our app also has a settings view, and this view is really simple because it has only one option. A user can set how old should the articles be before they get automatically deleted, and this view will be implemented as an activity. But since it is a small view, the activity will look like a dialog. So in the settings package, you can add this class. And in the layouts folder, you should add this file and put this XML inside it. And this radio group will host the radio buttons for setting the delete threshold. And each radio button has a value. And inside its tag property is also a string value, which will be later obtained when the user selects this, for example, radio button. And in the end, this will be our view. Now, to make this activity look like a pop-up or a dialog, we need to apply a special style to it. So open up the styles file in the res values folder and you can add this style. And with this, activity has a transparent background and loses the toolbar. And also, this is the style that Android Studio created. And this is the one we use in all other activities. And here you can, for example, change the primary dark and color accent colors. They are defined in the colors file in the same folder. And now open up the Android manifest file, register the newly created activity, and apply the theme that we just put to the styles folder. And back in the activity, you need to inject the shared preferences object, and you need to set the content view, the layout we just added. Also, you'll need to set the window status bar color to transparent and on the close button on the layout we set a click listener and just finish the activity. Then we need to read the current value of the threshold and based on its value you set the toggle to the corresponding radio button. And you do this with this when block. And you can see here that when a block is not used in expression it does not have to have an else case. And finally our radio group needs a change listener and when selected radio button changes we get the view that was changed from the group by find view by the function and then just apply to the shared preferences the value that we extract from the tag property of this radio button and this apply function is something that we created and this function obtains the shared preferences editor for you and accepts a receiver function as an argument. And with this extension function, we've hidden the editor from users, and the receiver function that you pass, you can specify with it multiple changes to the editor. And the extension function gets the editor for you, applies the receiver function to it, and applies the change. And with this settings activity done, you can see it in action. And just remember that the on menu item selected method back in the articles activity has to handle a settings menu item click and it has to start this activity. So if we open up the corresponding menu item, you can see now the activity, you can see the style that we applied, and it looks like similar to an Android native Android dialog. And we can change, and we can close.